I still talk to him sometimes, you know, tell him bits and pieces about my day. And I wonder if he can hear me all the way up there in heaven. And more likely down there in hell. <laughs> oh, he lived his life for that. But I don't know what the Lord made of it. Oh, he would make me laugh. Some of the stories he would tell me, especially about the Kirk, would have me in stitches. One of my favourite stories was that when Rab was a wee laddie, his father, who was apparently a very serious man, asked Rab why it was important to be quiet in the Kirk. And Rab said, quite innocently, is it so I don't waken the rest of the congregation, Father? <laughs> oh, I laughed for so long about that. I still find it funny now. <laughs> oh... Oh, <laughs> this belonged to Rab. Do you know it still smells of him? Earth and the cold rush of wind. After all these long years, imagine. <laughs> Do you know he was wearing this? Well, maybe not this exact one, but something similar the very first time we met. Hello there. Fine day, is it no? Bit nippy, but no bad, aye. Is this your dog? Aye, this is Meg. One of the finest and most loyal lasses you'll find anywhere in Mochlin, I'll have you know. Of the ones I've met so far, anyway. Well, can you tell her to get her head away from my washing? I've spent all morning cleaning my clothes. Meg, away from there. Jean, is it no? Aye, that's right. I'm Rab Burns. Folk call me Rab Mosquil after the farm where I live. Oh, you know, you're talked about quite a bit round here, Rab Burns. I know I am. Do you know I heard this old lassie in the village the other day saying, What's with that long hair? He either worships and sell too much or worships the deal too much. Either way, I didn't like it. <laughs> so do you think she's right? Well, I don't know you, so I can't say. Well, that's something we shall have to change. Take a walk with me later. I can't eat today, too much to do. Well, tomorrow then. Meet me here, same time. I'll be at the Kirk, will you know? Oh, well, I'll probably be too busy worshipping the deal. <laughs> oh, aye, of course. Well, might be more interesting than worshipping God. He never seems to listen much to what I've got to say anyway. Please, get your dog away from my washing. Meg, come on, let's be off. You came on folk have had enough of us. I'll see you again this summer. I see you again, Mr. Burns. <laughs> I remember he eye pointed it at me as well when he was giving me one of his serious talks. <laughs> Don't get too attached to this ploughman, Jean. This is just an infatuation. We all have these when we're young people. <laughs> he would make you happy, and he cannot take care of you in the way that you're used to. I've heard that he wants to become a poet. How ridiculous. <laughs> Men like him can't become writers. Who does he think he is? Sir William Shakespeare, for God's sake. I'll eat my hat if that man becomes a famous writer, Jean. You mark my words. He banks and plays oh, on to whom how can he bloom, the fresh and fair? How can he chant, ye little bird? And I say, weary, who, 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 who,